hello people how are you guys doing i hope everyone is doing okay here again is upstream health with ify and today quickly i'm going to show you guys how to check your blood glucose at home whether you're diabetic or you're just checking it to you to know your number okay so one let's start with this one so this is the a1c test this your doctor gives you this to take home you collect the blood and you drop it here and mail it out in this envelope so this we don't use all the time but say patients who are bed bound or home bound we use this a lot for such patients so you might not get this if you're a walkie-talkie person so you might not get this and the second way to check your a1c is this a1c now self check this you can get over amazon okay so it comes with it comes with the analyzer here you put the cartridge we have the push button lancet it comes with a shaker so this basically you get the blood and then you, you have um the oil the blood collector you take it and put it here shake it and drop it in uh, there's a cartridge here i don't want to open it cartridge you put in the cartridge and then drop the mixture of the blood here and it gives you your reading within three minutes this you can do at home to know your a1c but never freak out this can give you like a, a an a1c that might be a little bit high but within a minimal range okay this you can get over the amazon over amazon sorry an a1c measures the percentage of your hemoglobin attached to glucose okay in a period of three months okay so that's very good to check how your blood glucose is being controlled and the third one of how to check your a1c is going to the lab they'll dry your blood and give your call back later or send the results to your doctor three ways of checking a1c two you can do at home one you go to the lab and the next one is how to check your fasting blood glucose that is the one i'm going to be demonstrating with you guys i believe most people have this at home and so one thing with numbers a1c normal 5.7 percent and below pre-diabetic 5.7 to 6.4 and anything above 6.5 is considered diabetic but you need to do that twice your primary care provider needs to do that with you like twice and then check some other risk factors before they put you on a medication right so if they find out your a1c says 6.6 which is considered diabetic they're not gonna put your medications right away you'll be sent home to implement some lifestyle modifications like exercise number one diet and then you come back again in three months we'll check it again if it's still high then we can put you on say metformin depending on the percentage of your a1c we'll put you like on metformin if you're um kidney is okay okay or other if there are other chronic conditions that you have there are other diabetic medications that are preferable okay so that's for the a1c and if you're diabetic the target for the target goal for those who are diabetic and those who are not diabetic is different so know that like for those who are diabetic the target is usually um is usually higher but for those who are not diabetic the target is usually low so for fasting blood glucose normal we want it 80 to 108 and if pre-diabetic if you consider to be pre-diabetic the number you're going to be falling is going to be 108 to about 126 then if you have your number above 126 is considered diabetic but don't forget other things need to be in consideration okay and the test has to be done more than once and if you're diabetic you want your goal your fasting blood glucose to be there about about um below 120 and if it's after food like two hours after food you want your blood glucose to be below 160. for those who are not diabetic 
if you check your fasting blood glucose you want it to be 80 to 108 and if you guys so as i was saying if you if you're not diabetic you want your fasting blood glucose to be between 80 and 108 and if you have eaten say after two hours you check your blood glucose you want it to be maintained below 140 okay so let's go ahead and check my fasting blood glucose so here you need the strips you need the push button the push button lancet comes this way okay so we're gonna need one and you need your device here so before you start make sure you wash your hands okay and then you attach the strips this way you attach okay let me show you guys so you put the strip this way okay and it will give you this sign and then you you're gonna hear another sound to put the blood like a drop of blood there so now i'm gonna wipe you need your alcohol pad even though you've washed your hand you choose a finger that you know that can easily bleed mine is this one so you can like press down so that you can get more blood towards your finger pad and then you wipe and let's get the push button and make sure the alcohol is dried up and then you press hard here oops so you press harder to get the blood it's not that it's not painful believe me just a little prick okay so you get the blood this way Then you hear the sound it begins to count so my number is 91 so 91 falls within the range of 80 to 108 right so this is 91 believe me i can drop this and check it again it might give me 95 or maybe a lower number 80 something so don't always freak out with numbers it's a range okay but if you check it i know my baseline i know my baseline is usually like 92 93 95 sometimes it gets to 80 but i know my baseline is around that uh, 90. so my baseline my number might not be good for somebody else so but you should be within that range that normal range that's how it's right okay so once you're done you wipe and discard others so i hope um the simple demonstration helped you if you have any question please ask me and i'm also going to put up a video again about how to um get your glucose level slow okay see you soon and have a blessed day bye bye